Who said that? Some cultures are known as culinary gold mines, and even though the UK may not be one of them, here are 15 iconic British foods you need to try before you die. Christmas pudding. How does pudding work its way into everything? The Charles Dickens classic A Christmas Carol points out the importance of Christmas pudding to Bob Cratchit and his family as they enjoy a modest holiday feast. Americans think of pudding in terms of products like pudding cups and jello pudding. This kind of pudding is a thick and creamy dessert commonly served in school cafeterias. Christmas pudding is a British tradition, but you might be wondering what it is exactly. This kind of pudding is more like a cake and includes ingredients like flour, eggs, dried fruit, spices, and suet, a kind of hard animal fat. In America, we might confuse Christmas pudding with a fruit cake. <gasps> The fruitcake! Fruitcake is also a Christmas tradition for many people, but unlike Christmas pudding, is also the punchline to more than a few Christmas jokes. Scotch egg. We got the scotch egg guy to cater. For you drinkers out there, this is definitely not a glass of scotch with an egg in it, but what it actually is, is almost as strange. This uniquely British food, while not Scottish, consists of a soft boiled egg put inside a layer of sausage, rolled in breadcrumbs, and then either baked or deep fried. One theory about the scotch egg's origins is that the delicacy was invented at a London department store called Fortnum and Mason in 1738. Another theory says it was invented at a Yorkshire restaurant called William J. Scott and Sons in the latter part of the 1800s. This version of history contends that Scott eventually became Scotch and the Scotch egg was born. No matter what the true story of the Scotch egg actually is, it is definitely one of the British foods you need to try. Rice pudding. Gonna need some pudding here! Pudding! <laughs> Many people may not have been aware that rice pudding is a British dish. However, the Brits have enjoyed it since traders first brought rice back in the 11th century. This sweet and creamy dish consists of cooked rice, cream, butter, egg yolks, and sugar. In Britain, rice pudding is eaten as a breakfast, snack, or dessert. Spices such as cinnamon and nutmeg are often added, along with some vanilla. Rice pudding is a simple but satisfying treat, and it's one of the British puddings that Americans would recognize as such. In fact, rice pudding is a popular treat in America as well. Canned and instant varieties of rice pudding are available at your local grocery store, but there are a number of rice pudding recipes online to make a homemade version that is sure to please. Bacon Sandwich I'll take some sandwich. You stay away from my woman! Uh, my sandwich! British bacon is leaner, so it has more meat than American slices of bacon, which sounds like a good thing and the kind of bacon you'd want to use to make a bacon sandwich. In Britain, slices of bacon are called rashers, so you put a few rashers of bacon on some bread with some ketchup or brown sauce, a condiment similar to Worcestershire sauce, and you have a sandwich even royalty can't resist. <gasps> For later. This sandwich is about as basic as it gets, but basic can be a good thing, especially when it comes to sandwiches. If you like bacon, you should give this bacon sandwich a try, because British bacon sounds like a pretty tasty meat. The bacon sandwich would probably go great with a side of chips, or french fries for the rest of us. Spotted Dick What? Spotted Dick? This strange-sounding British dish is also known as spotted dog, and in Ireland, it's called railway cake. Railway cake seems like a much better name option than spotted dick or spotted dog. Spotted refers to the dried fruit in the recipe, and dick and dog have been used in Britain as words to describe different kinds of puddings. Regardless of what you call it, this is a steamed pudding made with dried fruits like currants and raisins, as well as the hard fat the Brits like to use called suet. Ingredients like flour, eggs, and milk make this dish essentially a kind of cake that the British like to serve with tea. The importance of tea time in British culture and the foods that are included in this tradition means that Spotted Dick has to be one of the iconic foods you need to try before you die. Scones. Prepare yourself, kids. Scones. That's right. People in America might think of scones as primarily a breakfast pastry, but the British traditionally eat them with their mid-morning or afternoon tea. 
Scones are kind of like a biscuit or a light cake and are usually slathered with some jam. Clotted cream is also a common topping the Brits like to put on scones. This topping is described as coagulated lumps of cream. Jam sounds like a perfect spread for scones, but some people may choose to pass on the coagulated lumps of cream in favor of other dairy toppings such as butter or cream cheese. Scones are baked with wheat or oatmeal flour, baking powder, fat, and milk. Before baking powder was available, bakers used buttermilk as a leavening agent. Scones are an easy-to-make treat that go great with tea and coffee. So if you haven't already, then give this British delicacy a try. Steak and kidney pudding. You'd like to take home a pudding, would you? I wouldn't mind taking home a pudding. This kind of pudding is an example of a traditional British pudding that has two main parts, a suet pastry and a meaty filling that, of course, includes kidney. The pastry and meat mixture is simmered for hours for a unique texture and flavor. A portion of the pastry dough is rolled flat and the browned meat mixture is spooned onto the pastry. The other portion of the pastry is placed over the meat mixture and the two halves of pastry are pressed together and sealed. The concoction is covered with foil and parchment paper, then put in a pan with water. It's then covered with a lid and heated until the water turns to steam. The steak and kidney pudding simmers for up to two hours. This hearty meat pudding is often served with mashed potatoes and peas. Yorkshire pudding I like it. As we've learned, in Britain, pudding means something different than it means in America. Most British puddings are boiled or steamed, but Yorkshire pudding is one of the exceptions. This pudding is a baked dish made from a standard batter of eggs, flour, and milk, and it is sometimes described as being similar to a popover. Yorkshire pudding can be used as a first course or a main course. When served as a main course, this pudding is accompanied by plenty of meat and gravy. Americans might recognize some versions of this dish as being similar to a pot pie. However, no matter what you call it, this is a savory treat that Brits continue to enjoy. Yorkshire pudding is the perfect companion to go along with a nice roast beef dinner. Jam Roly Poly Jam Roly Poly is a fairly unique version of a traditional British pudding. This dish is also known as Dead Man's Arm or Dead Man's Leg. This pair of colorful names isn't particularly appetizing, but once you see what Jam Roly Poly looks like, then you'll probably agree these names are somewhat appropriate. Although it looks like a kind of cake, the Brits refer to it as a steamed pudding. In fact, you can think of it as a kind of pastry made with suet. Unlike most British puddings, the Jam Roly Poly dough is rolled flat. Jam is spread on the dough, then it's rolled up and placed in an oven to bake. After it's rolled up and baked to a golden brown, it looks something like a little Debbie strawberry shortcake roll. After it cools, you cut it into slices and serve it with tea or coffee. Jam roly poly is often served with custard. Even if you don't like coffee or tea, pour yourself a glass of milk because this is a sweet treat worth tasting. Black pudding. This is not chocolate chip. This is so good. The name black pudding doesn't sound very appetizing, but the description of this British food is even worse than the name. Black pudding is a kind of blood sausage made with ingredients like pork or beef blood, pork fat, or beef suet. These meat products are mixed with a grain such as oats or barley for a truly unique pudding. Another interesting ingredient used in black pudding is pennyroyal, which is also known as pudding grass. This spice is part of the mint family and is a key ingredient that separates black pudding from other blood sausages. Apparently, these ingredients combine to make a palatable dish that Brits continue to enjoy. Black pudding has been a popular food in Britain for a long time, so why not give it a try? Shepherd's Pie What kind of pie is this? Peter! It's making me watch! Shepherd's pie, or cottage pie, is a traditional British dish that usually calls for lamb, but beef is also commonly used. 
This dish was originally billed as a way to use up leftovers, but has evolved into a coveted recipe and has become one of the iconic British foods that is now popular all over. Ingredients common to many shepherd's pie recipes include beef, tomato sauce, peas or corn, and of course, you have to have potatoes to make the mash that is heaped on top of the meat and vegetables. This classic British dish is as simple as it seems, with the cooked meat and vegetables topped with mashed potatoes. Shepherd's pie is finished off in an oven to make sure everything is cooked through and the potatoes have a chance to brown a bit. This hearty favorite has gone from lowly leftover to lauded lunch because it is a combination of popular foods that naturally go together. Sunday Roast It is juicy and delicious. Sunday dinner is a tradition in America just as much as it is in Britain. In America, the traditional stereotype is of families gathering to enjoy foods like pot roast and meatloaf dinner. The British have their own favorites, and they make up what's called Sunday roast or Sunday lunch. The main dish is roast beef or similar meat, accompanied by roasted potatoes and vegetables like carrots, peas, cabbage, or Brussels sprouts. One of the traditional desserts for this occasion is apple crumble, and and this delicious treat is more than enough to make Sunday roast one of the iconic British foods you need to try before you die. Yorkshire pudding is another common British staple that is often part of a proper Sunday roast. This meal is also enjoyed on special occasions like Christmas and family reunions. Regardless of the reason, a Sunday roast seems like the kind of meal you would want to have as much as possible. Full English breakfast. Beep, stick out your plate. Oh. For many people in America, breakfast usually consists of things like a bowl of cold cereal, hot oatmeal, or maybe some toast. Some breakfasts in Britain assume a much bigger appetite than a bowl of cornflakes would be able to account for. The full English breakfast is a hearty meal of carbohydrates, fats, and proteins that is sure to satisfy even the biggest appetites. All the food groups are represented with a list of foods that can include all or some of the following items. Bacon, sausage, also known as bangers, black pudding, baked beans, eggs, fried potatoes, grilled tomatoes, fried onions, onions, and toast with marmalade. This list of foods lives up to the full in the breakfast's title and makes it one of the iconic British foods you need to try. Most people aren't going to eat this every day because it's just too much food, but it is a welcome treat on the weekend or special occasions where you can sit down and digest without having to rush off to work. Bangers and mash. Taters are just about done. I'm just gonna give them one quick whisk here. This dish has long been known in Britain as a popular comfort food and consists of hearty pork sausages and mashed potatoes. Plenty of savory brown gravy and green peas round out this satisfying meal. As a basic meat and potatoes dish, bangers and mash is popular with the British as well as Americans and other people who can appreciate the savory simplicity of a flavorful meat and potatoes dinner. This classic dish can be ordered in pretty much every restaurant in Britain because it is such a part of the culture. You probably are aware that British cuisine is not known for being fancy. They leave that to the French. However, simple food can be tasty and appealing, and bangers and mash is a great example of this truth. Fish and chips. Mm -hmm. Fish and chips. At least as far as Americans are concerned, there probably isn't a single dish that is more British than a serving of traditional fish and chips. Britain is an island, after all, so it makes sense that seafood of all kinds would make up a significant part of its people's diet. A white fish is recommended in most fish and chip recipes. The usual choices include cod, pollock, or haddock. The fish fillets are dragged in a flour batter that is usually made with beer and sparkling water. The carbonation from the two beverages results in a distinctly light and crispy texture that British fish and chips are known for. The chips, or french fries, are about as basic as it gets. They're just cut up and deep fried potatoes. Season the chips to your personal taste and you have the perfect side. Fish and chips are a simple but flavorful dish and definitely one of the iconic British foods foods you need to try before you die. Check out another great Babble Top video. Just tap or click. Thanks for watching.